Sometimes it's appropriate to remove a hundred years of dirt and grime from the surface of an old gun. Let me show you how to do that. This is a Remington rolling block, New York State model from the 1870s, chambered in 5070 government. It's slightly different from most other rolling blocks in that it has a locking action, a feature that drops the hammer to the safety notch when the breech block is closed. The hammer must then be pulled a full cock before the rifle can be fired. Overall, it's in nice original condition, but you can see the wood and metal are covered with a dark film of grime. Underneath that film are the original finishes, which I'm going to show you by removing most of the grime. The first step is a careful disassembly. The hammer and breech block are removed, followed by the buttstock and forend. The barrel was originally finished in the white, which is clearly visible once the forend is removed. The old oil in the wood has oxidized through the years, which has caused the stocks to darken. Sanding would remove the crisp markings that are still quite visible and would reduce the gun's collector value. One respectful method of cleaning the wood is to use a clean, soft rag soaked in lacquer thinner. The lacquer thinner softens the grime, and by keeping the surface wet and turning the rag often, almost all of it comes right off. This technique will only work on an oil finished stock, like on most military guns. Any stubborn spots can be scrubbed with a small bristle brush. The brush is also helpful for getting the grime out of the stamped markings and any dents and scratches. Once the wood is clean, I'll set the stocks aside and work on the metal parts. I've left the springs in the forend to prevent any damage to the wood that might occur from removing them. As you can see, the metal is covered with a yellow varnish-like coating. I don't want to scratch the metal in any way, so Hoppies number no. 9 and 4 aught steel wool will work perfectly. The Hoppies loosens the yellow coating and the steel wool removes it easily without damaging the original finish of the metal. Each part is thoroughly clean. It takes a bit of time as I'm going slow and being careful. I'm not polishing the barrel bright as that would be a sure sign of refinishing. Quite a difference. A light coat of oil on all the metal parts will protect them from rusting. Now that the stocks are completely dry, I can apply a coat of boiled linseed oil and hang the wood to dry for about 15 minutes. This will really bring the wood back to life. If a darker color is desired, Oil-based walnut stain can be added to the linseed oil, although the stocks will darken naturally over the next few days. Excess oil on the surface of the wood is wiped off. The oil-soaked rags are disposed of properly as they can spontaneously combust and start a fire. Now I can put everything back together. What a beautiful old gun. And in this case, enhanced by cleaning. Sometimes it is appropriate to properly clean an old gun.